Mahpul from Polytechnic Sultan Idris Shah. I would like to share with you about common mistake made by students in mathematics, especially algebra. As a starting point, let me pose a question. What is mathematics really about? And why we make students study it at all? Well, people may say because mathematics is the part of the syllabus in Tibet. Every Tibet student need to perform in this subject, but we don't realize at all the main reason why we teach mathematics in Tibet. Over the last few years, issues connected with learning and teaching mathematics have become a matter of the highest importance for everyone involved in Tibet. It has been taken up at the highest policy level. Mathematical competence has been identified as one of the key competences necessary for personal fulfillment, active citizenship, social inclusion, and employability in modern society. Mathematics is the science that deals with the logic of shape, quantity, and arrangement. Mathematics is all around us in everything we do. It is the building block for everything in our daily lives, including mobile devices, architecture, art, money, engineering, and even sports. There are a lot of challenges in teaching this subject in polytechnics. Today's mathematics lecturers are experiencing major changes not only in the mathematics content they teach, but also in the way they teach. Nearly all of these lecturers came through school when mathematics consisted of a collection of facts and skills to be memorized and all mastered by a relatively homogeneous group of students taught using a lecture approach. Now teachers are called on to teach new, more challenging mathematics to a very diverse audience using active learning approaches designed to develop understanding. Although the lecturers can deliver the teaching method very well, students' understanding is more important in teaching mathematics in Tibet. Sometimes, we are focusing too much in teaching method instead of students' understanding. Some students feel like mathematics is a foreign language in which they can't orient themselves. When students fail to show progress in a mathematics classes, they may feel stupid and avoid mathematics as much as possible in the future. Many students do not believe mathematics is essential to living a modern life and resent being forced to study and abstract science. This problem led to the common mistakes that made by students in a simple questions such as algebra. Without further ado, let's look at a few examples of common mistakes that always made by students in algebra. At the end of this session, I will give you a few tips to overcome this problem. Stay tuned! Let's look at the first common mistake that is always made by students in expanding the expressions. Expanding means removing the brackets, but we have to do it the right way. In algebra, putting two things next to each other usually means to multiply. Okay, are you ready? Let's try these questions. Big no, dear, but a good try anyway. Anyone would like to try this question? Me, 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 let me do it. Awesome. So, what mistake that Rasna did just now? Instead of multiply 2 with 5, she added that two numbers. Remember, removing bracket with two things next to each other usually means to multiply. How about simplify? 
simplifying the expressions. Simplify means make the expression easier to understand. Okay, let's move to the next example for this session. Well, that's a piece of cake. First step, you have to factorize the numerator. Second step, cancel the same variable. First step, you have to separate by expression. Second step, cancel the same variable. Excellent job, Rasna. Well done. That's correct, dear. Try the last questions. It is wrong to multiply directly the value of power with each term in the bracket. Expanding means creating the brackets according to the value of power. For example, if the value of power is 2, it should be 2 brackets with the same value. Then, you have to multiply each term. examples of common mistakes made by students. So, now, I am going to give you a few tips on how to avoid these simple careless mistakes to save you a lot of marks and could even save your grade. Number one, be careful with minus sign, the single most common source of error. Number two, don't try to do too much in one step. Break it down into smaller steps. 3. If your workings become overly complicated, check back in case you have made a slip. Number 4. Always feel free to check any calculation using your calculator. Number 5. In many questions, especially algebra, you can do checks on your answer to make sure you have got it right before moving on. Number six, ask yourself using estimates and common sense. Does this answer look right? If not, then recheck your work. Number seven, make sure you answer the questions you have been asked. Check this before moving on. Plus, if you have enough time, recheck all steps and your final answer. <laughs>